I think we're recording. Hey, this is Nurse Kristen. Um, long time no see. Uh, I am just checking back in on YouTube. I've been gone for quite a while. Uh, I decided to take a break from the home health arena and go do travel nursing. And I took my kind of semi first nursing contract here. Uh, I did try to do a, another one, but it kind of fell through. I, have, I guess I look here, right? Instead of over here at myself. Um, so anyway, this is kind of like a redo of the first nursing contract because the first one kind of fell through. Um, it was a disaster to say the least. But anyway, I took a six month contract in Gaines. Well, I'll say where I'm at. Um, in Gainesville, Florida. Um, so I'm about three and a half hours from home. I live in Florida too. I'm not going to say where, but I'm about three and a half hours away from home in Gainesville, Florida. I'm on a six month contract, as I've said. And um, the contract starts tomorrow. I just moved into my temporary housing yesterday, last night, yesterday evening, like around 4, 4.30. So I thought I would take you guys on a tour. Um, just, why not? I like to see tours of people's, what is that? Anyway, so I'm gonna take you on a tour right now. So I wanna turn the camera around too. So we're kind of stepping outside. Now it's kind of a working class neighborhood to say the least, but there's two palm trees out front and that's my, my baby over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. And then the house, they nicknamed it the Teal Cottage. This is what it looks like when you step in front of the house or inside the living room of the house. It's very quaint. Um, just a dinette and two chairs. Um, I don't know what you call this thing, but it's on the ground. And then a hook for coats, a clock. Um, air conditioner, a small sofa, mirror television I put my printer there and this table was already there a desk with a um, office chair and my computers right there in my wallet and here's the bedroom nothing's you know spe you know exorbitant but it's clean and it's quaint uh, wall air conditioner, a full bed, mirror. That's about it. It's nothing really to write home about. <clears throat> this is the kitchen. You got the um, refrigerator and stove, small stove. I don't cook, so I won't be using it. Microwave sink, Keurig, with all the fixins that they, that the uh, host or the landlords left for me to use. Another air conditioner, wall air conditioner. And then here's the bathroom. I turn on the light. So you have a shower and a tub and then a sink and the toilet toilet they didn't have a lot of storage as you can see it's a very small bathroom so I rigged this thing uh, it was in the living room I guess to put your tray your I guess trays and drinks on so instead I made it into like a bathroom caddy to put all my extra stuff in so and that's basically it. Um, I think there is like a washer and dryer out here. Let me see. Oh, 
I haven't even really been out here yet. But I think this is kind of the backyard or the back area. I don't know. This is kind of like the back. And big ash tree. There's Barger, I can see. It's huge. This is kind of like a, it looks like a storage shed of some sort. Wait. I think the washer and dryer. I don't know. Where is the washer and dryer? They said it was here somewhere. Ow. Oh, here it is. So yes, it does have a washer and dryer. For my use while I'm here. So, that's cool. Oops. So, like I said, it's basic, but clean so that's all I asked for we're going back inside oh gosh close that lock that okay close this lock this and that's basically the cottage again it's called the teal cottage and this is where I'm going to be staying. Uh, I think I rented this place for a month until I got up here and decided what I'm going to do as far as housing for the rest of the contract. I'm here through July 29th. So, I don't mind telling you guys how much I'm getting paid. Uh, doing this so this contract is basically caring for people with intellectual disabilities that's what it is um, entailing the pay is about 2250 a week so I thought why not it can give me a break from home health uh, if it, anybody has been watching my channel for a long time then you know that I am by and large a home health nurse doing Medicare and commercial insurance, intermittent visits in people's homes, but I wanted to take a little break from that. So I am starting this contract. The contract actually starts tomorrow. It was supposed to start today, but it got pushed back a day. But since I already paid for this place from yesterday till the end of July, I thought I would go ahead and move in and get settled. I've already driven around a bit. Gainesville is very small, um, especially since they have the University of Florida here. I thought it would be like a huge booming town and I've driven around a little bit and it seems like very, it's a very quaint town. Um, if I could give a first impression of it. But yeah, my contract starts tomorrow. Orientation is at eight o'clock tomorrow. I don't know how long orientation is gonna last. Is it gonna just be a day? Or is it gonna be several days? I'm not quite sure. But I guess I will let you know uh, how the first day goes or the first week goes, I'm not quite sure. But I just wanted to show you my place, let you know that I'm still alive, I'm still here. And uh, maybe I can turn this into a series. I, I definitely do wanna travel. Um, I just had a birthday, I turned 39. Uh, about a week ago on the 20th so maybe six days or a week ago so I'm just at the point of my life where you know what I'm just gonna go wherever life takes me I'm not going to really pre-plan too far I just I'm gonna fly by the seat of my pants so to speak so anyway uh, I just wanted to say hi I know it's been a long time and I wanted to show you my little arrangements um, so like I told you I was I'm gonna stay here through the 29th of July. I am in talks with this gentleman through Furnished Finder 
to possibly rent his place. It's a small, tiny cottage, even tinier than this cottage. I think this cottage is about 500 square feet. His cottage is like 250. It's like literally half the size, but he only wants $800 for it a month. So I'm like, I mean, that could, I mean, cause I still have to maintain my apartment where I live too. So um, that could be a possible savings of like a thousand dollars a month because I'm paying a little bit of change to stay here. So we're talking about a thousand dollar difference between here and if I decide to rent his place. And from what I understand, he only lives like, his place is only like two or three miles away from this place. And what I also like about this place too, uh, is that it's only like three and a half miles from the job. So I can literally get there in like seven minutes. So I'm really super happy about that. Um, like I said, I did some driving around I this morning. I already found the workplace and I'm glad that I kind of did drive around because it looks like uh, I got a little turned around a little bit with the GPS. So I kind of straight, you know, figured it out and now I know exactly how to get there. Um, and then I drove around town and got some Dunkin' and filled up my gas tank because it was about 225 miles to drive from my house here. Um, like I said, three and a half hour drive. Um, but yeah. So, like I said, I'll give you an update um, either after the first day tomorrow or maybe at the end of the week. But until then, I'll see you later. Bye.